Okay, next is number 43 on your list. This is Sephora Japonica. Uh, and uh, fairly recently, this uh, plant was actually moved and is now called uh, Stiphnolobium japonicum. So be aware, some nurseries, uh, you will find it as uh, Stiphnolobium japonicum, uh, but I think the majority of nurseries still selling it as Sephora japonica. So the uh, uh, Japanese scholar tree or, or Japanese pagoda tree, a uh, few easy ways to tell it. Number one, it is in Fabaceae, so it shares lots of those characters. We've been continuing to talk about alternately arranged leaves. They have pinnately compound uh, leaves, and they have a swollen base to the petiole. Okay? The leaflets here are uh, more or less elliptic, with the uh, terminal leaflet, the, the, the apices of the uh, lateral leaflet are round, and the terminal leaflet is going to be uh, acute, so it's going to have a pointed uh, apex at the, uh, at the tip. Okay, uh, the, uh, the swollen bases of the petioles, they do surround a, uh, and hide a very small bud and uh, it's distinctly black. Uh, if you look, uh, pop off a leaf and look at the bud underneath, it is uh, distinctly black, which is kind of a neat character. Um, a couple other traits in Sephora japonica, it's uh, pretty unique that the uh, stems will stay green for up to several years, even three, four years. So um, normally just the current season's growth would be green and then it would go transition to a black or gray depending or a brown depending on the species. But Sephora japonica, the young stems uh, stay green for, uh, for several years. Uh, another unique character of uh, uh, Sephora japonica are that the, uh, the pods in this case, uh, they do stay green during the growing season uh, and there's actually very distinctly um, constrictions between uh, the seeds within the pods. So they look like beads on a string as opposed to the more standard uh, pods that we see in other uh, Fabaceae species. But really great one. I love the shape of uh, Sephora japonica. It makes a really good uh, urban tree. So that's Sephora japonica.